Hi friends, today let's dive into the Hunger Games. Katniss volunteering for her little sister Prim in the 74th Hunger Games is a pivotal moment for the series. Prim! I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! And though Katniss does explain a little bit about how volunteering works, we're still left very much in the dark. We know that volunteers in the outer districts are relatively rare, unlike in the career districts where sometimes the reaping process can take hours due to the number of volunteers. Yes, whenever you have a volunteer from an outlying district, that's something you, uh, you can't ignore. We also know that if you're reaped and someone volunteers for you, you can't volunteer back. But they call my name and Peter volunteers, there's nothing I can do. So how does it work when you have multiple volunteers? Obviously, if there's only one volunteer, it's really simple. The person who volunteers becomes tribute and goes to the games and that's it. But what happens when it's a group of people who are calling to volunteer? Is it the first person who calls out or is it the last person who calls out? Obviously, it's quite hard to tell who volunteered first and who volunteered last because everybody's going to be shouting at about the same time. So is it then random? Is it whoever said it the loudest? Do they already have to have a fight to see who wins to become the tribute? I have my own idea as to how I think it works. Personally, I think that if there are several people who call out to volunteer, they would do a new reaping with only those people. Though this reaping would happen immediately after the first initial reaping, this explains why it can sometimes take hours because you have to get the names of all the different people who called out to volunteer. The slight difference with the second volunteers only reaping is that you can't volunteer in this one. Once a name is pulled, that's the tribute. Because obviously, if you allow volunteering in the volunteers only reaping, they would just keep volunteering for each other over and over and over and over and over again, and that would take days. Hey, Mitch Abernathy. I volunteer as tribute. Oh, I can't let you do that. You can't stop me. I think that not only in this reaping would there be no volunteering allowed, I also think that all of the children would only have their name in once, regardless of age or tessera. This creates a much more level playing field, as all of these children have the same opportunity to volunteer, and therefore should have the same opportunity to be reaped. And then the name that's called out at this point, because there is no volunteering allowed, becomes the tribute. I feel this is the most streamlined way of doing it, and yet it would still take hours like Katniss said. Not only does it feel more streamlined, to me it just seems to kind of make sense. Get everybody who wanted to go in and put them in a special reaping and then pick the luckiest of them, I guess. How do you think the volunteering process works? Please tell me in the comment section down below. I just want to take this moment to do a special shout out to my book level Patreon pledger, Ray. Thank you so much for pledging. If you also want to be able to pledge, you can check out my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. And until next time, happy bubbles! If you want to see any of my other Hunger Games videos, you can click on the box on the left to find out what would happen if Katniss hadn't volunteered for Prim, or you can click on the box on the right to find out why Kato was favourite to win the games. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.